Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Animac here from Anime Uproar, and I'm here chilling with my special homies for the finale of the whole cake arc here on the One Piece Virgin podcast. Welcome, everybody. Joining us today, we have a special guest back for, I think, the second time, the King of Lightning. Ew. Ladies and boys and girls, what's good? We back for the end of whole cake, yeah! And the whole cake, boy! Greatness, baby, let's go! Oh, hey, yes, welcome, bro. And we also have Nux and the Briggs. Nux and Nux Briggs. Briggs! Bro, that was an awesome the house intro, man. As well. Yeah, thank you. I, I wasn't talking thank to you. No, not you. <laughs> no offense. Uh, good to have you, King of Lightning, man. Bro, it's going to be Yeah, bro, it's been way too long. It's going to be here and spread the mega church of Kata Curry, all right? Dude, the mega course. church is always strong, dude. Always strong, all so, right? Yeah, so, funnily enough, in previous episodes of the One Piece Virgin when we were in Whole Cake, I, I mentioned that Kata Curry is in my top three characters in all of One Piece. And Animega's like, what? No. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And, bro, I 100% stand by that. You overhyped this dude so much. I have no idea where you're I'm coming so from. I'm so happy King is here. Yo, King. So Thank we you. are gonna we're gonna are gonna get into that because I thought the Katakuri was very interesting and intriguing character and all that stuff, but yeah, absolutely yeah. not anywhere top ten. So I, I'm really curious as to why you would say that. Dude, but come on, the actual Katakuri versus Luffy. Is that not one of your favorite no fights? No, it was a great fight, but that's not what makes a character. I know, I know. But I'm just saying no, that was probably not. my favorite fight in One Piece. From a character it standpoint, it's complicated because like Oda kind of like leaves out certain things that that, that like left like your assumption. But I would say character wise, he's pro he, he's on he's on my, my my top ten for sure. Uh, he's he's that good. I, I think he's a good character for One Piece standards, especially how he kind of transforms during the fight. But at the same time, he kind of maintains himself in a way. Like we'll get into, I suppose, like the greater details of, that, of how kind of Curry changes per se. But I think overall. Oda wanted to do a lot of Katakuri, had a certain amount of time to kind of rub, like, kind of get it in there because there it was like an 11 hour, I think an 11 hour, 12 hour fight. I think it was somewhere around that time. And we don't see a lot of that fight because it's been like off screen, but I think Oda did a good job for the first time doing a fight that long and have a character change in the middle of a fight. Yeah. Uh, so basically, this section of the arc, we're following several major events first we have the luffy versus katakuri fight inside the mirror world that's going on pretty much at the same time as we're having the whole situation with big mom you know with her hunger pangs attacking the thousand sunny they're trying to get away uh meanwhile sanji and everybody over there is trying to get the cake to big mom to stop her hunger pangs so it's like everything is going on at the same time we keep switching focus and it was really really cool in that sense because it kept everything fresh and interesting and different angles and stuff like that so i really enjoyed that very much in general this whole arc i thought was great that's good to hear honestly dude because it was so polarizing at first i mean i think the reason why it was so polarizing is because we were reading it chapter by chapter so yeah. Yeah. like there were parts of this arc that i can imagine were slow even like luffy versus katakuri is my favorite fight in one piece by far by far and i could still see where people get bored if Imagine Luffy versus Katakuri over the span of months. Yeah, wasn't well, it like a two so, month fight? No, but even so, like, let's yeah. say, so this More is the problem. issue. Because the focus kept switching from different events, right? If you are reading weekly and you're excited for the Luffy versus Katakuri fight, and then you get a chapter that's like following the Thousand Sunny or something else, you're probably yeah. going to be like, damn it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. I wanted to see more Luffy versus Katakuri. But this. When you just read it like this, I think it was fine. The pacing was great. Everything came together really well. Yeah. So like when yeah. you reread it, it's much better, I'd argue. But I would say that because it's, and again, like it's an 11 hour fight, you have no other choice but to go to other stuff because other characters are still moving and getting in position until it actually comes out of the mirror. So it's like, so again, it's Otis actually first time showing and a fight that lasted that long. Like normally, like always say, okay, fine. Like these guys fall for five days and five nights, or these guys fall for ten days, or these guys fall for three days, some of that sort. But we never actually see the entire process. Now we're seeing an almost half a day fight for like the entire process, damn near. And so we we have to jump from other places. But yeah, it's like it does kind of get a little bit slow. Like I was like the big mom stuff to folks maybe a bit aggravating. Like I don't like about that the whole the whole big mom thing where like big mom she would come back 
but they thwart her time and time and time again. Yeah, yeah. So that was a bit kind of like, oh, she keeps trying to eat everything, and they keep you know fighting her, but she keeps coming back. I agree with you that that was kind of a bit much. Yeah, it I mean, I think a lot of it was just to you know spend time. Like, what's everyone doing while Luffy's fighting Katakuri? Like, yeah, and I, I will say though that Big Mom's power and strength was definitely showcased by doing all of that because this yeah. you know this woman is an absolute monster in terms of power and in terms of personality let's be real mm. oh yeah and then Alsanji bakes the cake actually you know saves the entirety of Tala in the process and then in the process too what you see Sanji is kind of like and it's very important I think that folks should really do what you should do for Sanji's character for this arc is actually reread uh, the Baratia arc and then reread Whole Cake Island and then you get a much better sense of how Sanji is in that arc compared to what he was in Baratie. Because Sanji acts like Zeph in a lot of respects. Like just how yeah. Zeph treated Sanji, Sanji treated Luffy at the beginning of that arc. And then how you see him kind of be the head chef to lead all these other chefs to actually subdue Big Mom towards the end of the arc to save the entire country. So it, yeah. it's, it's fantastic. And near the end of the arc, we even get like a panel where there's a side-by-side -side of Zeph and Sanji that I thought was really, really dope. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's excellent. It's, it, dude, I, I think that, that that to me, I think is my favorite arc in the post time skip. Really? It is really good, yeah. man. It is really yeah. good. And, and a lot of characters Are actually shine Wano? in this arc. You, you prefer this arc to Wano? Yeah. I mean, Wano, I think, has some good stuff to it, but oh, I mean, I don't want to get into any. Yeah, spoilers with no spoilers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, also, no Wano's Wano. not done yet, right? So it's going to be hard to judge. Oh, yeah, exactly. So uh, the I'll climax just say is like often this, the um, most important thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I'll, I'll just say it like this. Oda and the editors took a lot of time in Hokey Island the, during, like, when there was news, they hyped up Wano to high heaven. Like, they put Wano on, like, the mega pedestal. Like, climb, like screw Cloud 9. We were out of orbit. Like, it was like, Wano, like, the greatest thing since the wheel. And, and in Act 3, it's like, No, I love well, it I mean, right now. I love it so, so much. I I know pretty much That's everyone. Better, but I want to do. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. I, I do like Wano a lot. But uh, let, let's just say that I think that Wano's going to be completely based on the conclusion. If it concludes where we are now, then Wano will be a trash arc. But if Wano actually has a high point, I think it'll blow this of out of the water. Of course it's going to have like, a high point. I know, Whether I'm or not expecting... it has a big low point first is going to be a deciding factor as well. But like, of course, like it's they can't just like this is a this is a hundred chapter arc. There's going to be a high point. There's going to be a nice climax. Oh no, way more than that, dude. Like we're I mean we're still in Act uh, Three right now, and then I think the latest chapter we're eighty. The last chapter, no, no first chapter we actually started off was I think nine hundred and nine. So we're like eighty seven chapters into the arc right mm -hmm. now, and Dress Rosa was a hundred chapters. Yeah. So Juan is going to be like one hundred twenty. Yeah. And we, Probably, but boy, we gotta, we gotta come back to the whole cake though. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. Well, anyway, whole cake is great. I agree. Better than Wano. Well, only time will tell. Yeah. So I, mean, I, the, I like it a lot. I love, but I love Sanji. He's my favorite character. Right. The thing I love about my, whole cake. Mm, <laughs> lovely. Lovely. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah, you're yeah. good. All right. Well, so many people were talking over me. I didn't think if I didn't Honestly, that was my oh, favorite oh, part of the oh, podcast. Oh. Remember that time where we were talk, talking over? Oh, bro, hype, hype. Right? King of anyway, was so very, very the reason happy I really that I like... Sanji, my favorite oh my character. god, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You had to do it. Anyway, so should I talk or, yes. or no? I mean, <laughs> ideally not. We could just talk about simping ah, for Sanji. Ah, ah, ah. Well, part of my talk is simping for Sanji because I wanted Ooh. to say that the, what I love about Whole Cake is so many characters get to really shine. Sanji absolutely gets to shine, but we also see, obviously, Luffy shining. We see uh, smaller characters like Nami and Brooke shining. We see Pudding. Like, Pudding really impressed me, like, her character in this last part of the arc, like, crazy. I really loved Pudding's whole story arc, her backstory. Man, I, I don't know if I should talk about that right now or if I should wait Go but I was it. really impressed. With I think that. we should just save Katakuri versus Your Luffy show. for the sake of the next. Yeah, okay. So what I really loved about the whole pudding thing is like first, she's this like really sweet person, and you just know, you just know, oh, she's probably a psycho on the inside, right? And she ended up being a psycho. But then what I didn't anticipate, I anticipated that whole psycho thing, but I didn't anticipate that we would actually go back and that she would turn out to not really be a psycho. What happened was 
she, because of her third eye, she was so self-conscious because every time people found out the real her and saw the real her in her third eye, they just treated her like a monster that she put up this defense mechanism. So her psychotic persona was just her defense mechanism. It's like, I already know you're going to hate me and think I'm a monster. So I'm going to be an asshole to you first so that you can't break my heart later. And so she had this whole thing, but Sanji like breaks her down to the point that she falls in love with him. And I loved the moments between the two of them. It was really, really good, man. I Pudding became a great character in my mind in this arc. I think Pudding is okay. I used to hate her, but I think she's okay. I think that the whole like the whole turn, I think, was a bit too fast for me personally. Like it was a kind of jarring how like all of a sudden, like, you understand, yeah, obviously, like, you know, she had that wall up and then Sanji broke that whole thing down in one instant. But then later on, it's like, you know, I still want to kind of kill him. But then it's like, oh, my God, no, Chu Wu, Sanji. I'm like, wait, hold on. How the, wait, whoa. Like, that 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 switch was just almost, like, neck breaking how fast that was. Like, the whiplash was insane. It's, and then. It is quick. Even know, if you look at the done, fight with oh, Katakuri versus. Quick. Sorry, man. I feel like I keep on cutting you off. Cause... No, you're good. You're good. You're good. I'm just loud. And it... Go ahead. <laughs> no, I was going to say, like, I 100% agree. But at the same time, it's like, if you look at, like, the whole the family that they have there, they seem very judging. Like, Katakuri had to hide his face. And mid-fight, when the face was, like, revealed and he even, like, whatever, ends up, like, respecting Luffy in a way. Like, everyone, like, in his family looks down on him. And I'd imagine putting her entire life had to put on this act had to hide her third eye, was probably teased like crazy. And the fact that Sanji broke down her wall, I could imagine the struggle she felt for a little bit after that. But I think it'd be very easy for her to develop from that. Like, it yeah, makes man, sense. It's because, you know, Big Mom treats her like one of her puppets. Like, she's yeah. like, you, you're my doll and you have to do what I say and all this stuff. Right. And Sanji is the first person to actually look at her, like, as a woman. And he you know, sees that she, she believes that she's beautiful despite her third eye and all that type of stuff. And I actually didn't think that it was too fast because there are still moments where she's resisting it and she still gives him the psycho persona. But then on the inside, she's like, you know, having this development while she's still like lashing out on the outside. And then we had the kiss, bro. Oh man, that was so good. The kiss was, that was good. so the kiss good. Was good. Yeah. And then she took that memory away. I was like, no pudding. What? Oh, so, I mean, I like Pudding as a character and the character development-wise. And as far as the themes of family in this arc, I liked Pudding a lot. My only complaint would be she has such a cool devil fruit power. It's such a shame it was never used in an interesting way. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I agree. That's why she should be become a straw hat. And then we can have her use it in the future. Oh, oh Pudding for a straw oh, hat. Oh, man, that's a theory. That's well, I mean, a theory. I'll be frank. I would rather Pudding be a straw hat than Carrot. Uh, okay. Carrot. Oh. Okay, well, Carrot... Finally did something cool. The, I True. think her transformation was pretty epic. Like, it was a really cool-looking transformation, powerful transformation. I like it. The song is dope. Yeah. The song is very, very damn dope. It's actually very cool. And yeah. then how you have, like, that moment. Like, especially when you have after, like, her taking the mantle of Pedro. Like, actually, actually, you know, taking that strength that Pedro gave her, like, the final moments and how she's moved to take on the role of literally stalling everyone by herself and uh, that entire fleet. It's a very impressive and courageous one for her, absolutely 100%. Yeah. It's, it's great, so, yeah. So she had I mean, those I two moments. I don't in general. I think it's, like, rant, it's hacks, hacksy, but whatever. I'm yeah, okay so, with it. So there were It's not moments. hacksy. Not there were two actually. moments that I thought Carrot was really good at in good in in this um, arc. First was the Su Long transformation, and second was when she kind of like is telling Luffy about uh, Pedro's sacrifice and kind of coping with it at the same time. I thought that was really good. And, oh, and by the way, Jimbei shines in this arc, bro. Jimbei, yeah, Jimbei does. Okay, so I love Jimbei. Jimbei's Jimbei. phenomenal. Jimbei's Sun great. Pirates. I think the Jimbei's Pirates top were 10 amazing. One two characters for me, I would say. Top ten. Um, but still, he's no kind of curry. Throwback to when Katakuri I spoiled, is when I spoiled Jim Bay being a straw hat by saying he's not top five straw hats. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh man. Dude, oh, damn. That was I mean, then again, though, it's kind of like already there in the, like, who yeah, says in, that? You on know? Fishman yeah. Island, it was. No, no, no but the thing is, he said it like by Marine for it. I said, I love Jim Bay. And he's like, he's not even top five straw hats. <laughs> it's slipped. It's slipped. <laughs> oh, wait. Jesus, dude. It's no, slipped. but Jim Bay. Jinbei is was really good in this one, like his whole commitment to Luffy and everything that he went through to. I mean, uh, honestly, standing up to Big Mom, bro, yeah, standing yeah. up there, life or leave or whatever, and he says, "Yeah, life. that was great." 
And oh then at the, very, at the very end of this arc, we had an epic, both Jinbei and the Sun Pirates had an mm -hmm. epic moment. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. And then what you can really appreciate is that you can kind of see how, over the course of the series, where when Jinbei was first, in, like, uh, when he's first introduced as a character in Marine Ford War and how you see how he comes to respect and really appreciate Luffy. And then he takes over like that kind of like protector role after that arc when he actually motivates Luffy to keep on fighting because he has his friends and how that comes ahead in this arc in a way where it's like you see how in his, in his eyes, Luffy is beyond just a mere Yonko. So that's why Big One can't just shell shock this guy because like, no, no, no. Like, you're the Yonko. Like, I'm going to serve the future Pirate King. And how... You can kind of see how what Ace told Jinbei back in the day it comes to fruition that one single moment with Luffy. It's it's, it's great. I love it. Yeah, I love Jinbei. Stan bro, Jinbei? Fish for boy. sure. For sure. Also, Brooke, bro, this mad Chad lad asked to see Big Mom's panties, bro. Dude, Brooke is MVP Brooke. of this arc. Not only did he... Brooke likes him young. Did he not only did he end up getting the Poneglyph, he fucking smashed the picture. He... Fucking side by side with Big Mom asks for her panties to see her panties. This guy is a Chad lad, and you'd love to see it. Yeah, and I thought that I really liked the epic Nami and Brooke teamwork versus Big Mom when they pwned Zeus. Oh, man, that was great. And then Nami's like, Zeus, you will be my servant. And I'm like, yes, queen. Yes. <laughs> by the way, everyone, Animax that was, is, that was Animax so a, a Nami simp, and you love to see it as well. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Oh, okay. That explains Dude, a lot. Because that although, moment... That moment was so polarizing in the like, at the beginning because you have oh um, the like you have Brooke and Nami literally discharge Zeus and then they able to thwart Big Mom who's there and then folk I mean honestly I got pretty upset too because it was like really like people that are nowhere even close to Big Mom's level in terms of power are able to do are able to thwart her to such an extent now granted you know she was in a hunger pain crazy kind of state and then Brooke the whole thing with lightning being immune to lightning okay like. It kind of wasn't like known until that point in time. You, you maybe assumed that because of his bone, his bone body. But no one would assume that, bro. Maybe, no one on the planet. Maybe you could have. There's maybe. a One Piece theory on everything on YouTube, but no one said that Brooke is immune to lightning. Get out of here. Pretty you. much, but like maybe like, like in hindsight, maybe you could have said, okay, well, he has a bone body, so whatever. But it, it, it was just well, ridiculous it makes how sense. No, but right. yeah, yeah, it, it makes sense. sense because but they like, used damn, really? they used Zeus his own power he's a special homie made by big mom and they used right. his own power against her and all they did was slow her down they didn't destroy her or anything so i thought that was a fine moment and i like when strategy can sometimes trump raw power because i don't like when it's just raw power that's fair yeah, but this, that's fair that's fair but it's on the heels of big mom first time around tries to get them pedro dies in the process second yeah. time around giant tsunami okay they escape because g a chad Third time around, now you have Brooke and Nami do their thing. And it's like, really? Okay, so still, Big Mom get thwart again. And so it's like, at that point in time, it was like building up to where Big Mom keeps on getting like a pubic hair away from taking these dudes out. And then it's like, no, no, no. The thing so, is, I think that one thing that this arc sort of did with Big Mom is out of all of the Yonko, Big Mom is the meme in the group. She you is, know? unfortunately. No, She's but a character arc. The like, character, like, she's probably like one, like the better of the Yonko. I started like to say, like, well, Whitebeard, because he's dead. So, like, the current Yonko, like Blackbeard, Big Mom, Shanks, and Kaido, she's probably the best character, but she's mean to high. I mean, I would disagree with you. I think that Blackbeard and Shanks are both better characters than Big Mom. But um, the thing is, the thing yes. about Big Mom, though, is I think that they wanted to, in this arc, kind of drive it home for us that if they had to fight, like Luffy or anyone had to fight Big Mom head on they would lose so that's why they had big mom you know in this hunger pangs kind of out of her mind and they're just running from her and just yes, kind of like still right, i mean yeah, this yeah. is one of the four yonko the first one that he's really encountering and she just you know yeah but that was that was the whole point it's like they didn't defeat her outright they outmaneuvered her yeah i understand yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the well, dynamics of it bro it's like at the time, the only, the only other Yonka that we've seen at like full power was Whitebeard. So you look at Whitebeard and his greatness, his his majesty, just how down of a force he was. And then look at Big Mom. It's like there's there's something missing here. Like no, I we think know she that a good job. Just, like bro, if she just l l laid on the floor, you wouldn't even be able to kill her. Like most people yeah, would no, not. Like she's I absolutely agree. a force to be reckoned with, and she I has a domain. as all hell. But like I mean, from like the like the consensus of the of the community. 
like at the time she got absolutely shitted on dude like non-stop weekly like big mom is trash like on the <laughs> regular i thought she was fierce all hell like El Spear, my God, my, my goodness. Like, can we just be like a giant sun ente thing? Like Zeus down there. Like, it was crazy. But she got dunked on on the regular, bro. It was brutal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think maybe people build up the Yonko too much to the point where it would be unrealistic then for Luffy and the crew to be able to do anything to them unless there's some kind of, you know, It's almost like the idea of like Yonko tier. It's like, I don't know about that that terminology, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. She's, like, I mean, she's works, absolutely strong works. enough. I think she's absolutely strong enough to be a Yonko, like, and be respected as a Yonko. I just think her character and her actually being, like, a villain in this arc isn't as satisfying as when you saw Blackbeard and um and Whitebeard. Well, I mean, at the know? end of the day, right. she wasn't defeated in this arc personally. So, like, they couldn't have her have an epic moment. It just had to be with them constantly escaping mm -hmm. through memes. She's also less likable than, like... Obviously, we don't like Blackbeard, but we could all agree that he's an amazing character. Dude, I love Blackbeard. We love, we we love, love him love, as a villain. Dude, you know? I love him. That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> yeah, we all love him as a villain. Like, I don't think anyone loves Big Mom. And I don't think it's because of a strength thing. Like, she's definitely well, strong I, enough. I do like her character because she's so terrifying. Like, as I said in the last episode, she is a force of nature. Like, rationality is not a thing that she cares much about. And she's just like this gluttonous stampede of, of, of like, terror man yo i'm a gluttonous stampede of terror what are you trying to say yeah that's what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is yeah <laughs> okay right, so can we talk, talk about, about kata curry versus luffy okay wait first let's talk about the worst the worst written character in one piece and yes way worse than cracker and that is flom pay <laughs> <laughs> yeah Bro, probably king king you want to talk about reversals like at the drop of a hat, she goes from being president of Katakuri's fan club, and it's like, oh, you're the greatest, you're the perfect man. She sees he has some sharp teeth. She's like, you're a freak, you're a loser, we all hate you. Like, what? Yeah. Okay, it wasn't just that? the teeth. Flampe's... It was the teeth that was, like, him stabbing himself, and yeah. oh my god, like, because like, oh, so, okay, so, like, here's actually a theme that we have to kind of get uh, uh, down for Hogan Gallon. A lot of what Hogan Gallon's based off of is lies and incompetence. A lot of it. Not just family. Like the core theme is family, but it's also based on lies and incompetence. And remember how Brule said how Katakuri was the perfect human. How you know when he, he never born, laid on his back. No yeah, one's ever seen yeah. him eat. Like when he was born, he stood up and he sat on a chair and he slept. Like when he was first born, like that's how <laughs> much of a man he was. And then from then on, he was undefeated. Um, and then whenever he eats, he eats like in the, like he eats like in a in a mochi temple, like shit like that. And then you see how a lot of these lies, when it comes to Kata Curry, when it comes to Big Mom, when it comes to Pudding, they're all broken down over the course of that arc. And that's when the lies where, yeah, like people believe that Kata Curry was like this superhuman. And he is in a way, but he's like, he's not Superman. He's more like a Hulk. And that's like the main transition of Kata Curry's character, where you find out that he's actually not Superman. He's rather, he's actually Hulk. And so that freaked up Flan played the point where she's like, no, like this guy's a monster. Like yeah, calls him like, what, like, uh, like an eel of some kind that she calls him like some kind of like weird eel thing. And then kind of just they take pictures of him, like they diss on this guy and the guy. So it's all that kind of shit. Yeah, but the thing was, I get the whole thing where he built up this persona of being the perfect man in order to protect his siblings because we got a little flashback of right. him earlier. And his siblings, like Brulee, were actually being bullied and attacked because they're all different and they're all like these creations of big mom so in order to protect his siblings he basically made this reputation for himself as the perfect undefeated undefeatable guy that no one would mess with him and therefore no one would mess with his siblings so i totally get that but for flam pay to like go from you know zero to 100 like that to do a 180 so quickly instead of being like whoa what's going on here you know maybe i need to reevaluate stuff let me take a minute to think about this she's just like at the drop of a hat just switches her opinion of this guy that she yeah. worshipped to me that was yeah. just kind of plot convenience but I don't Flampe think it was. I, what I'm trying to say is not that's just. It wasn't sure. just the. Teeth I would not thing. say it's plot convenience at all. It wasn't just the fact that she saw the teeth. He got to the point where he dropped his facade. He rips off his scarf because all he cares right now is about his fight with Luffy and the mutual respect that they've gained I, for each other. I wouldn't other. say this is a fucking eleven-hour fight, and he it, realizes that she was the one respect. who stepped in, and the only reason he was able to stab through her chest was because he lost his focus for a second and he grows to make it equal because this is a battle between men this absolute chad and obviously he I, drops I, his facade and fucking flampe hates dude, him i agree it. with like half of what you just said i for <laughs> sure he, he uh 
he, yes, he wanted it to be that kind of battle and whatever, but it's not just because he's a Chad, period. This was a battle of ideals, okay? It's Luffy. Luffy's a person that wants to be free. He can be who he is. He doesn't care what people think of him. And he has a, an idea of family that's completely based on bonds made between people, not blood. So he, with this family that he created, the Straw Hats or whatever, mm -hmm. compared to Big Mom's family, which is a family through blood but not through bonds, all of a sudden you have a clash of ideals between Luffy and Katakuri. What makes it so much stronger is Katakuri's devil fruit is just a super Luffy. He has the same yep, uh, yep. is and he's just better. He awakened it. He has better freaking hockey. He had he was just a better Luffy. Karakur was a better Luffy, pretty much. Exactly. Some would yeah, say like, he, he, better Luffy. he has the property so to both rubber fight, and gum. Yes, true. Oh, so every time he would knock Luffy down and expect Luffy to stay down, Luffy got back up. And that was something he couldn't understand because he's just fighting a weaker version of himself. And he knows that it doesn't make sense that he's standing up again and again and again. Bro, so even at the end with Snake Man, he counters that like almost immediately. Oh yeah, God. he just he's so much more powerful, but that's not the point. The point is Luffy keeps getting up. And yes. when Luffy finally knocks Katakuri down, Katakuri stays down. It's it's insane. This fight is not a fight of strength or chadliness or men or so, whatever. Nux, it is what all I was trying to explain, I was I wasn't I 100% agree with everything you just said and that's what makes the fight amazing. I was trying to explain why Flampe completely like completely just like turns a 180 on Katakuri. And that's what I was mm. just trying to explain to to Adamac why it happened and it wasn't just the teeth. I agree with everything you no, said. But I wasn't there, trying there to is, say there why is the no fight. There is no explanation for that, Briggs, because like oh I said, no God. normal human would make such a big switch. Like imagine Wait, like you check this is one piece and yeah, you, you, you are stabbed himself through the chest. Through the, no, through the like, stomach. You, you, think you are worshiping someone like you think that they're the best. Whatever they do is, is the correct thing. You would go through a period of den denial and like what the fuck just happened. But you, you would not do turn on them. You were like that. You, she was wor worshiping a fake persona. And when he when yeah, he but, removes but it would take her a while and it would take her a while to understand that stomach. It would take her okay, a while to come to terms. I don't love Brulee, so I don't really care. Uh, it's not Brulee, bro. No, Brulee. No, 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 not, not Brulee, no, bro. Not Brulee. Whatever her name is. Flambe. I don't care. Flambe. 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 Thank you. I, I genuinely don't give a crap about her. She's, but she's better than Crash. Bro, you see this shit well, on Twitter not. all the time. You got no, people are stabbing whole... people like crazy. They do one thing. 180. Cancel. My, listen. <laughs> Okay, that yeah, what the hell, Anime? You live in an environment where people get canceled for this kind of Briggs, thing online. Briggs, this is a good point. Fair. <laughs> Thank you. That's a fair point. But no, I, I just want to say the Flampe is worse than Cracker Br uh, Nux. I you disagree. Admit that. You need to come no, to terms with that. No, I will never that, admit right that now. in my life. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where, where does this cracker hate come from? I look here. I just oh, Nux, just be, Nux oh, just not really trying to meme for it's no meme. reason. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's not a meme. I'm serious. <laughs> okay, that's a wait, wait, Cracker wait, had a fight against Luffy that lasted. Days, years at least that's no. how it felt. It felt like a year long fight. Reading this every week, looking at Cracker's disgusting face, both of his faces. God damn, that disgusting creature wasted my life away, and he is no character whatsoever. Absolute is that, garbage. Is that biscuit racism? What? Yeah, I'd be racist. Yeah, yeah, right. But no, anyway, listen, the problem with Nux is I think he thinks that. <laughs> The time that it took Luffy to defeat Cracker takes away from the epicness of the Katakuri fight. That's what. That's why he hates him. <laughs> what? One thing has nothing to do with the other. But anyway, so when it comes to Katakuri falling down and not being able to stand up, it's because what's he fighting for? He's fighting for a family, but it's a family based on blood, not bonds. When Luffy can keep getting up because he's fighting for a family that's completely based on bonds, not blood. But that still so, matters, though. It's like that's the reason why Sanji again, like so, family. Sanji's family with Jerma is based on for most part blood, not bonds. But that still right. has weight. So you see the disparity of Luffy winds up convincing Sanji to come back to his side because all. Speaking, their bonds of Nakama matter far more than the blood ties they has with German Double Six. Yeah, so which is like, why oh, after yeah. Luffy recruits him or whatever, like re recruits him, he goes in, he saves Judge, and then he says, Never call me your son again. Yes. Pretty much. You know? But you see like, how family weight still matters to the point where, again, like at the, okay, well, actually, let me not, that's probably a spoiler, so I'm not saying anything. But you see how the blood ties still matter to begin with, to where these guys do fight, of especially with Kata Curry, where they do matter tremendously so. So, yeah, and I thought that that was a great moment near the end where uh, Judge starts like criticizing um, Sanji after Judge and them help. They help 
the straw hats escape, but then John just like, oh, yeah, 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 you yeah. just, you cook for fun for commoners and you sacrifice your life for weak people and all this other stuff. And then he leaves and, and, and Luffy's like, Sanji, why was he just calling out your best qualities like that? Like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. I love Luffy, man. <laughs> yeah, I love so how Luffy oh, has a strong presence or theme of family between oh, yeah. like obviously Big Mom and the family, the straw hats, Germa, Capone. Like it's literally mm -hmm. the entire art. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the main and, thing. With it's, Chirma, and, and, and it's good. It's good, honestly. With Churma and, and Big Mom, they create a family to be basically their puppets to advance their power and status. Whereas the Straw Hats are a completely different, obviously, type of family that you know has that extra something that pulls them through. And I, I think that the fight between um Luffy and Katakuri was really good because in the end, Luffy didn't overpower Katakuri. He outlasted him. That was all it was. Like his willpower just to... outlasted him. But yes, because it's dependent on what they were fighting for. Yes. Not what yeah. the fight was. Luffy and has yeah, so sure. much weight on his shoulders to keep on getting back up because if he doesn't get back up, then pretty much that's, Everything... a, that's the lives of his family. They're, all of their ambitions are over. Right, yes. and that's why I like how this 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 is a clash of ideals because at the end of the day, Katakuri was much stronger than Luffy. He was Luffy, just the Uber version. Right. Like he was just a superior Luffy on every single level, every single level, literally, power, fruit, hockey. There was no way Luffy could reach him. But yeah, still. Like, that's another point. Yeah, like, I mean, Yo. and and also mind you too. I mean, I would argue that actually the fight was a draw because then. Once they got that final clash, they're both down for 10 minutes. And then they yeah. both get up at the 10-minute mark. And then they have one conversation. And then Katakuri falls down to the ground on his back. And then Luffy walks away with Peckham's in tow. Then when he's in Sanji's hands, he passes out. But what we see later on, Katakuri's still chilling on the ground talking to a brulee. It's yes. like with so all the villains that you had throughout the entirety of or antagonists that Luffy's face, I've never called a single one. That's actually been conscious after the quote unquote final battle's over. Like it's crocodile. funny because you see uh, the point it, that that's a great point, by the way. Because and people didn't what like that, but I think that was beautiful. Go people ahead. People didn't like no, that, but it was great because the point is Katakuri knew he lost the battle. Yeah. That he was fighting. He was fighting an ideological fight, so he knew he lost. He knew that Luffy's ideals were superior. And right, at like, that again, point, he could lay down on his back, which was basically symbolic of saying that I'm embracing Luffy's idea of not caring what people think of you. And just when Luffy, when yourself. Katakuri says, so, so Katakuri's main power is the whole thing about future sight. When Katakuri says, you're seeing a future that I can't see, or like, you're seeing a future that's far you know, uh, ahead of mine, yeah. he's also right, meaning right. that his ideals are superior than his own, and he concedes that in the process as he yes. collapses. And that yeah. is when he and I think, and, and, and I think that's also related to Katakuri's own backstory, because he himself did all of these things and created this persona for him and all this stuff to protect his siblings. So now he sees how Luffy is willing to do whatever it takes to protect his crewmates, you know, getting up against the impossible odds and and you know, refusing to lie down, refusing to give up. And he can relate to that as well. And I feel like, I agree, I think Katakuri could have helped fight, could have kept fighting, but he was like, I think his cause is worthy and I respect him for it. And just like I would want to protect my siblings, I want to help, you know, I want him to protect his family. And then he was glad when he got away. We saw that with the Brule conversation. Katakuri yeah. was glad that Luffy escaped. But but also, it's not, it's not just that too. There's also an, an underlying note here where... Because Kata Curry's, uh, a lot of what he's built on is built on lies, where Luffy's kind of built on truth. Like, Luffy did, like he said before, back in um, uh, back in East Blue at Arlon Park, he can't lie like Usopp can't. Like, he just, he, like, who he is is expressed out in the open. Whereas Kata Curry, who he is, he hides it under a mask. He, again, he, he, he even eats in a temple by himself. Like, like no one's seen Kata Curry eat before. And when he's fighting against Luffy and, and he's seeing how Luffy's powerful and he's not actually understanding Luffy at all. But at the same time, he's sloppy. Like, he's saying, you're falling on your back. Like, it's embarrassing. And here you are coming at me time and time again. You look like a fool in the process. But he keeps on coming at him. And then Katakuri, over the course of that, starts to really respect him as a person because that's who he is in earnest. Oh, who he wants to like, be, that's too. How, that's who how, he wants to be. Yeah, and the you, whole reason no, why no, Katakuri... No, no, no. I would say that's who he is because in the flashback, we see him 
eat the donuts. And he's looking like an actual monster when he's eating the donuts. He was actually dissed when he was a child because of his facial features. Like, who he is, I think, is actually Luffy. Mm -hmm. And then it's unveiled through that whole fight. And Just he hides how, again, it. He hides it. Like, he literally hides yeah, it. Yeah, because, because, again, he has to have this persona of perfection. And exactly. you know, no one can mock him. No one can say anything bad about him. Because he had this whole idea that if people think that I'm unstoppable, I'm perfect, then they will never you know, mess with my siblings or me. They will leave us alone. So I right, think that was his whole thing, right? Right, because, because he felt like he had to be the insurmountable force of nature to like defend his family from any criticism and that kind of stuff because that's what happened to Brule when she was scarred for life because of what, of what happened when she was a kid. Now, yeah. so I would argue that the same way pudding is unveiled and unraveled by Sanji is the same way you have Katakuri being unveiled by Luffy, where yes. the walls of lies break down in those pivotal moments yeah exactly i thought that that was that those two kind of comparison that comparison i agree with 100 percent because both of them ended up being completely different people and both of them had to have personas like these walls that they put up because of their backstory and everything they went through right amen wait so, so give uh, all that how's how's Kyger like not a good character then no i think he is a good character 100 percent. i just wouldn't say he's you know top three favorite characters in one piece. Oh, that's top three could be a reach. All right, yeah, top three could be... Not, <laughs> Mox, be Mox is saying it's, it's his number... Th it's his third favorite character in one piece. Like, that's what Either I Either second or like, third. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure second or third, to be honest. See? Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, other, otherwise, he is Luffy, a great Sanji, character. and Zoro, like, for what? 700, 800 chapters at this point? It's hard to say he's, like, your favorite character, but he's definitely, like, top 10, you know? At least top 30. Yeah, but, like, within the <laughs> yeah, context of the I agree top 30, too, yeah, like, 100%. <laughs> but like within the context of the fight, it's like I mean I would say he's top ten, arguably speaking, because I think that within the time frame that Oda gives us for that character, he did a fantastic job. It's almost like freaking poetry, I would argue. Like when you read it, it's like it's like honest to God poetry. And I would say that when you have like remember how Kakuri said before how at first at the beginning of the fight when he's dunking on him, doing elephant gatlings, doing elephant guns, mimicking Luffy says, and after he actually shuts down the gear four, he says, Luffy, I'm not at all, in any way, underestimating you, not a single time. Then afterwards, when he has his face revealed, Congress Hockey, he says the exact same quote. So how is the Katakuri in both times is understanding? He's not, you know, he's saying, I'm not understanding you at all, Luffy, in both times. It's because it's two different Katakuris, but it's the same person in a way. It's like one Katakuri has a persona of Superman. The other one has a persona of the Hulk, who he truly is. Because the Superman part was all lies, and that all broke down. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And no, I think he is a, definitely a really good character and a great villain. And um, I thought, like I said, this arc really brought out a bunch of great characters and made them shine, for sure. Especially Sanji. What about German? What about German in your <laughs> mind? I, I, I yeah, yeah, Sanji's so, fantastic. What about German, though? So German, yeah, I think they, obviously, the sister is dope and I, I respect her the, no, no. the brothers and father they kind of were obviously bad guys at the beginning and i feel like they still are to an extent however their sense of honor is what ended up pushing them to help sanji because their sense of honor as warriors and men made them be like you know what we mistreated sanji and yet here he is risking his life for us you know it, we are honor bound to, you know, re reciprocate that and help him. So they're still kind of douchebags, but they do have a sense of pride and honor that pushes them to do something good. And his sister, I think, is more complex. I think she is a good person overall. Yeah, she just put up on like, like she was the only one who actually cared. Her and her mom were the only one that actually cared for Sanji a little bit. But obviously, she didn't want to get bullied as well. So she wouldn't like say, say, say and do nice stuff to Sanji in front of her brothers or her father, right? Um, one of my favorite moments or like in this arc, or one of, like, definitely one of my favorites, is when uh, Judge refers to Sanji as, as his son, and Sanji's like, no, for, like, uh, my dad died 14 years ago or something. Yes. That is my father. It's yes. a complete reversal, because when Sanji leaves, I, I talked about this in the last uh, episode as well, but when Sanji leaves, he, um, he says, like, you're no longer my son, like, never refer to me as your father again, and then he, it's a complete flip and contrast on it. Because John Judge does it now after he saves him. Very good point, dude. Very good point. Oh my yeah. god. 
Yeah, because like Sanji and how to overcome Jerma is, I mean, like, think about this for a second, right? Sanji, he sims hard as all hell. Like, he goes hard. But it's, especially for Nami, obviously, because like Oda himself that, you know, the character that he uh, is in the story or like he commits with the most in the story is Sanji. So here you have Sanji actually for the first time earnestly ignoring Nami's wishes, Nami's pleas, and he's still beating the shit out of Luffy to the point where she has to smack him. And then Sanji, he's okay with it. And he walks away. Of course and, he's okay with it. He gets off on it. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, no, that's a good point. That's a good point by King because that's not something that we, I think, discussed in too much detail. But yeah, the way that Sanji always simps for Nami, including in this la la latest part of the arc, and yet how he d went totally against what she was saying in that totally. moment, that, that makes it even more powerful, that yeah. moment. Exactly. And then... Because like, I remember there was one criticism I had, or folks had criticism of Sanji, where it's like, okay, well, Sanji, he should have known better to actually do all this stuff because he see what happened to uh, Robin. Like, Robin did this whole, like, she did something similar back in any lobby. But the difference here is that it wasn't just a strike crew that was in danger. It was also Zeph. Like, remember, Sanji coming into this arc was hot. He was like, yeah, like, I'm going to handle this. Screw my family. Screw all you guys. I'm going to leave. And then, boom, by the way, this guy named Zeph, he's blue. Oh, shit. That's where everything starts to like, cascade. Because he, because for him, Zeph is way more father than uh, Judge has ever been. And so now the threat became far more grandiose from that standpoint. And Sanji, throughout that entire arc, is trying to maintain who he is as a person. Like, one of the things that you don't really see, I think, character was if, among the strides is that, like, they don't necessarily like, change his characters. Like, they don't grow like a Thorfinn from Vinland Saga. Like, you don't see that in, uh, in One Piece. They actually try to maintain who they are as characters. And Sanji has to really fight tooth and nail through and through to try and maintain who he is. It comes on the brink of losing himself as character until he remembers Luffy because he actually winds up baking, making the entire meal that he would cook for the entire Shirai crew. The same exact meal, the same thing. And then yeah. from there, he's like, oh, what the fuck am I doing, dude? Like, it's it's it's, it's masterful, Oda's part. It's fucking masterful, bro. I'm telling you. So I'm the I'm only one that thinks the putting Sanji kisses like top 20 One Piece moments, yeah? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. You are the only one. Not right. only in this podcast, but you are the only one on the planet that thinks that way. Although, low-key, I feel I like, in a, like, like deep down, a lot of us ship pudding and Sanji. I mean, no, I mean I, after I, this I, arc... But no, no obviously not yeah. top 20, but I ship it. Top 20? Moments of One Piece? Are you insane? Maybe Marine top 100. Ford 20 better moments. Maybe top 1,000. Hey, man. Okay, fair. Maybe top thousand. Maybe. <laughs> hey, man. You know, it is what it is, bro. I'm a romantic. <laughs> Here's Tim. <laughs> nice. Ugh. Anyway, we had some cool um, cover stories as well. We learned that <laughs> we saw the front of Tontata's ship. <laughs> yeah. That was so funny, man. The front of their ship is that face that... Uh, the Usopp, Usopp face. The Usopp face oh, that he used yeah. to. I forgot about that. Shit. That he used to um, scare. Uh, what's her name? Um, yeah. Sugar. Candy. Candy. Oh, sugar. 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 Yeah. I was gonna say cookie, but yeah, he scares <laughs> the face he used to scare sugar. That's the front of their ship, and then we also saw that Buggy lost some giants, including Gerd, giant waifu. Damn, mm -hmm. Buggy. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's a definite miss. Woo, good. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's Woo. that's gonna sting. That one's gonna sting. I don't I don't know how Buggy's gonna become become an emperor after this, but we'll see. I'm sure. Let's go, Buggy. The chat of chance. Bro, emperor. That's way too small. Buggy for Straw Hat. <laughs> Buggy for Pirate Honestly, King. Honestly, Buggy's gonna be the Pirate King. Like why? Okay. Like Luffy you doesn't want to be a Yonko. Like neither does Buggy, bro. They're going straight for the. Straight yeah, for they're the going for the big leagues. Oh, and I also want to do say about the fight between Katakuri and, and Luffy, there was some technical stuff that I thought was really interesting. Like, we knew that uh, Katakuri had this great observation hockey, but the more he used it, the more the fight went on, the less effective it was. And Luffy noticed that, so he was trying to kind of run out the clock on that. Also, we saw Luffy having to, like, run through Mirror World in order to regain his ability to use hockey after using a four, uh, Gear 4. We also saw Gear 4 Snake Man. So there were a lot of te technical things and strategic things there that we kind of glossed over that I thought were really cool. But yeah, the whole ideology fight and the character development, I think we covered really well. Mm -hmm. 
Where would you rank this fight in your One Piece fights? It's definitely one of the best. I, I haven't thought about ranking fights, to be honest, so I can't. Animac, that. weak mindset, just freaking spitball. What did you like better, this or Lucci? Obviously oh, I like this, this better than Lucci, yeah. Okay, this or Marine Ooh. Ford? Well, what okay. fights at Marine Ford? Dude, Marine, what yeah. the hell? You can't put a <laughs> fucking entire arc. Um, <laughs> okay, I would pick this. No, I'm kidding. But I do like... Um, what can I say? I like this arc, man. I like freaking Katakuri. Top three One Piece characters. Dofi. Or yeah, definitely Katakuri. top 30 One Piece characters. I said three. Animac. Yeah, top 30. Yeah, yeah top top 25. Um, Animac. Doflamingo well, top versus three Luffy. is in the top 30 technically, so I agree. Doflamingo versus Luffy or Katakuri versus Luffy? That's not a question. Hmm. Just thinking I mean, both, that long embarrasses yourself. Yeah, both, both had some great moments, man. Both had some great I moments. I do like the fact that it's it was... about the great moments! I like, like, the, dude, it's not I the, like moment. the fact that it was Law and Luffy versus oh Doflamingo. I do like that yeah. aspect of but it. But Dofi, man, Dofi is a completely different character from Katakuri. Like, completely different. Good insight, Animek. Thank you. Um, But yeah, Katakuri versus Luffy no, like, is my I mean, personality-wise, I don't mean technically. But obviously, technically. Good insight, Animek. God damn it, Nux. Yeah, Nux. <laughs> What? What? What do you want from me? Am I supposed to take that sitting down? They're t oh well, I can't say which fight I prefer because you see they are different characters. Oh, God, yeah, bro, you're just them. you're just mad that Pudding is a more fleshed out character than Katakuri. Chat's calling you out. <laughs> Animax never ranks stuff. It's Woo! hilarious. That's a tough call right there, boys. No, Animax <laughs> just he's embarrassed to rank things. He he he's afraid. He's a coward. He doesn't rank his favorite anime, his favorite characters, his favorite arcs. He just doesn't do this. Because, bro, I like to enjoy things for what they are, and everything is different. And yeah, everything has its own charm. Bro. But you have to everything rank it. Everything has its own charm. You gotta rank it, man. Every, everything is everything in this world is ranked. You gotta rank it. Do it. But content, Do it. bro. Content. Saying everything in this world is ranked is such a weak mindset, bro. But it's true. Just rank it. I, I recommend you guys read the Tao Te Ching. You're an really, absolute really coward, man. <laughs> rank. Rank it. I've never really thought about my top uh, top fights, though. Katakuri versus Luffy Well, honestly, favorite, Katakuri but... is head and shoulders above every other fight in One Piece. It's not like there's two close that, like, I don't know. It's literally head and shoulders above every other fight in One Piece. Bruh. Anime and mm -hmm. manga? Dude, no, chapter 895 is stupid, bro. That It's nothing but fight, and the choreography is phenomenal. I love it, dude. I love the Black Mamba, and then Katakuri, like, somehow still tight rope walking through that, and then this guy in the face with this goddamn spike on his. I'm like, oh no, oh, it is mad savage, man. And then Luffy versus Stick Man, Kyle Curry getting caught off guard, but still using the hockey defend. It's so good, dude. This I fight's think you guys... so good. This fight is so good. Toei animation pulled out the budget just to make it look. Oh, good. Toei was. Nasty. I think you guys. I think you guys are forgetting the Luffy versus Charles fight, but whatever. Move on. Move on. Oh, that's facts. <laughs> that's I do, right. like, I do I, like my I, Luffy I, versus Charles. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's, I really don't think it's close when it comes to fights because I don't like we don't watch One Piece for the fight. Let's be real here. Like Arlong versus right. Luffy is amazing because of the weight that it like it holds. You know, Luffy walking up to Arlon Park was better than Luffy fighting Arlong. Exactly, and like but like you know all the weight that is on the fight if he loses, and that's what makes it so good. And like all the like the battle of ideology here is what makes the fight good. You know, right. That's what the fight and the was. Well, and the choreography and the powers. And the choreography. Yeah. But I'm saying like tough, everything about this fight was like phenomenal. But a lot of the times, like Nox has said it a million times, we watch One Piece for the moments, the world building, the characters, right? Yeah. I think this the fight is just long, long, like way better than everything else. Continue. Sorry. No, no. I was like, like the first long hour, like, like again, like 10, five hour plus fight. You, if you want to put it like that, like that's like, because these fights should, they exist in One Piece history. So, mm -hmm. Ideally, we get more of these fights in the future. I mean, Zoro and, and Meow could be like a 20-hour thing. Fuck. Bro, Maybe they won't even fight. You never know. Hody Jones versus Luffy is better than Katakuri versus Luffy. Luffy, let's be real. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hody Jones, the most respectable One Piece villain. Bro, do not, do not forget, do not forget uh, Senor Pink versus Frankie. Oh, that was amazing. That was, I mean, a, that was a fight yeah. of Chad. Senior Pink. That was a fight of Chad. <sighs> She's a clown, but with Katakuri, kind of true. Facts. Okay. Katakuri kind of for straw hats. <laughs> Yo, you make a joke, but Katakuri kind of may... I don't think he's going to join the actual crew. But Katakuri, kind of I could see him 
uh, leading a massive fleet. For, yeah, uh, I could absolutely see him leaving um, Whole Cake, without a doubt, and leaving. No, I could see him leading a massive fleet for Luffy, like becoming one of his fleet commanders. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, join I'd, the I'd Grand Fleet. For that. Yeah, join the Grand Fleet. Well, I would love to see what happens with him after, like, this. Like, during Wano right I'm just right saying, now, the next time Katakuri, we see Katakuri, the next time we see Katakuri, it will be either defeated at the hands of Blackbeard or saving Luffy's ass. It will be one of those two. I say it's saving Luffy's ass. Yeah. I, I love the theory of Katakuri and, uh, oh, that'd be amazing. I'm so, so, so good if that happened. But, uh, yeah, saving Luffy would be great. That'd be great. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, so I think this was, again, really, really good arc. I don't want to rank them yet. Maybe Weak. if I actually gave it some thought beforehand. But I thought it was a great arc. Great Weak. setting. So much awesome character growth and moments of characters shining. And a great fight. And so much world building and development. I loved it. And definitely, guys, if you enjoyed the One Piece version, share it with everyone. Follow us on the the podcast platforms where you actually listen and also obviously rank of faith follow us on spotify dragon ball virgin follow us for that too all that good stuff we love you thank you and Hell check yeah. out king of lightning he's yes. awesome oh wait what is that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. What, check out what was that anime you just no, anime. Wait, 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 man. well i was waiting for you to say something nox this isn't just my show buddy this is your show man you got it like, you know, you got to pay some respect to our guest, too. I, I already introduced him with all the fans. I'm chatting about at the end. You totally forgot. No, I wasn't. I was waiting you for totally you forgot. to do your part. You guys part argue like an old believe. married couple. I've had enough. I cannot I cannot believe. Bro, Briggs, go put out your house fire. Shout out. Go he put out your house fire. Shut the fuck up. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Game, thank you for joining us, man. All right, I'm breaking it up. I'm breaking it up. Listen, shout outs to me, King of Lightning. All right, yes! Yes, I love King that King guy. On Twitch.tv and on DLive for anime streams every Wednesday and on Saturdays, anime live on those days. And, of course, we have some Katakuri merch. Definitely, you got to check that out. Mr. <laughs> the Slam Jam merch is real. And, of course, shout outs forever and always to the mega church of Katakuri. Blessed be his name. Honestly, shout out to Katakuri for being the... In the top three One Piece characters of all time, at least top Too 55. Good. Yeah, at least he's I mean, top ten, top sixty nine. Who, who is Fine, your top you ten? If if you could just spitball top five characters in One Piece, King. Top five characters. Number one is Garp. Number two is Ace. Number three is. Number three is either going to be Usopp and or Sanji. I think they kind of uh, straddle each other. I would argue. And then number f uh, and then number five is I, I can't do number five. Number Dude, five, I was I'm not expecting not Garp and Ace, bro. Yeah, honestly, this was one really? of those. Garp and Ace are fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, anyway, no, anyway, no, anyway, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Uh, Dopey. Boom. Okay. That's respectable. <laughs> all right thank you guys we're back again next week discussing the reverie right what are the chapters all of it the next five chapters yeah so just five nice it's gonna be a nice short arc nice. but i hear very consequential oh, oh, we can talk about it for an hour Garp and ace what is wrong with you yeah i'm still not over that Sorry. bro you i respect the sanji ace, ace, ace is a great character dude ace and Garp are phenomenal I mean, yeah, but there are a lot of great characters in One Piece. On yeah, their I, I like Buggy more yeah, than Ace or Garp. Wait, who like more than Ace? Buggy. Or Garp? I like Buggy I more than Ace or Garp. It's bad knocks. Oh, I, love, I love Buggy as well. <laughs> All right, Briggs, I'll break Briggs, it up here. Oh, what the hell? All right, I'm thinking Briggs. about my my list right now. All right, Sanji, if I had to spit out Sanji, my top five. All right, you first. Go Sanji, first. Luffy, Buggy, Zoro, Katakuri. Go for me. What kind of crazy top five brings? Hell yeah. Man. Okay, that surprised me. But how, what has Buggy actually, honestly, earnestly done to be a, that good of a character? Just yeah, he's out. funny, Buggy, but I, I wouldn't say he's Buggy like a great is, character. Yeah, Buggy is great because he is an embodiment of fake news. Yeah. It's real. It's okay. a real thing in today's day and age. And you can see his rise to power. Which is insane to see. Dude, if Trump could come, become president, Buggy can become Pirate King. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I hear that. Like, <laughs> I, I actually see it. Like, it, it's beautiful. Bro, it is funny because when Trump, God first said, Japanese manga. when Trump first said he was running, everyone laughed. And I was like, yeah, right. Like, this is just like, he's just trying to promote The Apprentice. And then he fucking <laughs> won. 
And, he won. and then Buggy, he won. when you guys were telling me, like, when we first met Buggy, you guys, bro, Buggy's coming back. I'm like, he's not coming back, bro. He's like this one-time douchebag villain. He's never coming back. Bro, I was wrong, man. I was wrong. There is one guy that is fake news, and that is fake news Morgans. That's definitely true. Yeah. Yo, I, <laughs> I love Morgan. He's great. Morgan. Morgan's Actually, great. Morgan. Actually, what do you think about the whole thing with the Morgans at the end, end of the arc? Like, what do you think about all, all that stuff with Morgans? We, we, we what, never, was that technically Morgan. the end of this arc, or was that the first chapter of the next arc? Oh, I believe it was the first chapter of the next arc. What was the, okay? So you're in the chapter where oh, uh, let me see here. So Morgan's yeah, the next, did, next arc. at the end of this uh, arc. Morgan's did say that he was he wanted to see what happens so he can write a cool story about it. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. I yeah, got you. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All right, cool. Okay, guys, awesome <laughs> pleasure talking to you all. Wait, and you, you don't even ask for my top five. This is so yeah, sad. Yeah, Nux, you know. Well, what? I'll tell you because you asked. Uh, I would say that it is um, Zoro, Ka um, Katakuri, Law, Doflamingo, probably Usopp, maybe Odin. We don't talk about it. Your, your list is a spoiler, um, you douche. Anyway, oh, no, see you next he, week, guys. He spoiled that a character is good. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week, guys. All Peace. right. Bang. Peace, he didn't spoil that character was good, bro. Odin was described as being dead. Yeah. He comes back to life. He's a great character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Like on Rocky, phenomenal. Like on Rocky, like when you think of the word Chad, it's 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 him personified. <laughs> it he really didn't is. Say that Odin was yeah. alive. Right. Doesn't mean we it's so that, sad. I used. It's so funny. I used to think when I thought the word Chad, I used to envision Briggs, but now I envision mm -hmm. Odin. Oh, that's a loss right there. That was a lie. It's Escanor. Uh, He's the Chad Escanor. of Chad. <laughs> Escanor. I don't know, Chad man. I don't know. Senior Pink really threw a wrench in my. You know. <laughs> I do so, like Senior Pink. I'm pretty sure I made a video of the biggest Chads in anime, and Senior Pink's on there. Oh, that's the respect. That's respect, Briggs. But of course. And even on our fucking podcast, we talked about Senior Pink in our Chad's episode. Oh, and also I Escanor. I mean, wearing a diaper is kind of raw. I ain't gonna Escanor and Sanji are Chad simps, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. True. Sure. Which, Sanji's such well, an amazing we, 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 character, bro. I still can't get over Mr. Here. Prince. I still can't get over Mr. Prince, bro. <laughs> Mr. Prince is great. Yeah, the fact that Mr. Prince, and then it turns out a million chapters later that he's a prince. What the hell, man? Yes. Oh, I can't, yeah. What I can't get over is that... Sanji's probably my favorite character in One Piece. And bro, he's a smoker, bro. And I'm not a fan of smoking at all, and yet I can't help it, bro. It's like with Spike, he's just too cool. Talk to me, man. That's some great shit, dude. Because like, I mean, yeah, actually, so that's one thing we, we didn't touch on too, was that like how Sanji got like no fight in the like no ma major fight in uh, the arc that he was centered on, which was kind of disappointing. But his character, I think, took so many leaps and bounds that it didn't it didn't matter. It didn't really matter. Yeah. yeah, and man, he had some cool moments. Like even we didn't mention, it, but like when he saves um, Chiffon just like out of nowhere, just like bam, yeah. just like Dude. kicks Oven, and he's like, "What the fuck happened?" Dude, like, and he, he proved that he was moment. stronger than his brothers and sisters who were like supposed to be like perfect, and they were like soldiers. He was, he was, he was perfect soldiers. Like he was outcasted because it didn't work on him, right? Right. And he ended up through willpower and like he was able to get stronger than them. Mm -hmm. Through training, through Zeph's teachings, I mean, through all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Everything I mean, he experienced, he right? And yeah, well, let's, let's be real. off screen, like literally to kick his ass off screen. Like that was it. As much as I like Jean Claude Van Damme, French kicks are not super cool, you know, when it comes to fighting. And yet Sanji makes them cool. Yeah, here he is, dude. Here he is. I mean, he, the man's kicking the air and flying, dude. Dude, like, I can't literally. wait till One Piece Virgin is over and we're fully caught up and we force Animac to rank everything. <laughs> he's not gonna do it. No, he's he gonna has be to. too cowardly. He has to. Otherwise, he's not. One Piece Virgin's canceled. He's I, even he's if I do, do even if I do, Nox is just gonna like attack me for every choice I make. Well, well you know, what do you yeah, mean? And man? it's content. It's oh, fun dude, content. Bro, dude, what, are you, you just what are you talking about? You I don't, don't care what your understand. choices are. I make fun of you for your lack of choices. You just don't understand Katakuri, bro, because you're too I mean, simple-minded. I, I, like I don't like It's a lose-lose scenario. It's either you don't make the list and we make yeah. fun of you for not making it, or you make the list and at least make content for it, and then we make fun of you for your bad choices. No, you Yo, will make you fun see, of me. Here's the thing. Because you're, I, you're honor, but Nox is Fighting just me scumbag. is a lose-lose situation. I'm a scumbag. What can I say?
I, I think Briggs would be like, oh yeah. <laughs> no no one like, argues. What do you mean, bro? Your list doesn't match with mine, bro. Why? Dude, I don't. I literally don't care if people have different opinions. I just bro, need people Nox, to have opinion. Knox is Eric Cartman. Oh my god, I just figured it out. Knox is literally <laughs> Eric Cartman. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Mind you, yeah, I always know I'm missing a link. Yo, I was missing a link. Yo, understanding Nox, Nox, there it is. You guys were cutting out. Unfortunately, we're on Hangouts, not Discord. I couldn't hear what you guys were saying. Discord sucks. Wow. Don't don't even don't even diss Hangouts. Discord sucks. I know. Eggs. Wait, wait, wait. What? Discord sucks? I hate Discord, man. The audio we, we, used to, we used to do on cam Discord. on like cam so like people could see us on the streams and then lag issues because of internet and then. We had we had to stop using Discord because audio issues. Nux's internet apparently whatever like it works fine on Hangouts, but on Discord can't hear him. Um, yeah, so he just cuts out randomly. Yeah. Also, I'm in like 19 million servers and I had to turn off all notifications. It's annoying. I hate Discord. But just get better internet, dog. My, I mean, my internet's perfection. So no dropping? Really? I never dropped it ever in Discord. What the fuck? That's kind of crazy. Not even dropping. Yeah, Discord's great. Oh, never mind. No, don't dox me. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. No doxing allowed. Listen. Oh, I... yeah. So, you want to know how my internet is? Okay, here's my address. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, here's the I zip code. Read that shit. By the way, chat's right, too. Read re Kingdom. I, I need to see a Kingdom version stream at some point. Let's go, son. Let's how go. many chapters is Kingdom? I don't even know. 660. Oh, goddamn. Oh, that's a lot, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's worth We should worth. do, like... A one-time deal. Like, read all Kingdom next stream. And just review it. Mashal yeah. Virgin. Mashal Virgin. There's only 30 chapters, boys. One episode. Yo, King, were you on that uh, freaking bracket of doom with uh, Roger yeah. and Chibi? And oh, okay. yeah. It was great. Explain something to me. Talk to me. Why? Jujutsu Kaisen. Bruh. <laughs> Wait, are you a, a uh, AOT fanboy? I do like Attack on Titan. I'm not a huge fanboy, okay, per se. So JJK, I mean, I told you anime right now. I, I like the like I said before, like during that stream, I don't read the JJK manga. That's why I mainly abstain when JJK was involved. But apparently, like based on the anime right now, and how JJK right now is, I think, in, like in the top ten best selling manga currently. I think right now, um, it's gonna blow up, dude. Like I think what we saw with Demon Slayer could happen again with, with only this time with JJK for it. Okay. I mean, I hope it does. I hope it gets really good. But from what I've watched so far, I, I it's it just hard. It blows my mind that it beat Attack on Dead. I think it's good anime wise. I think it's actually very good. I think very it's good, good. but um, bro, the last few chapters of it, like the last like ten chapters of Attack on Titan, it's debatable. I mean, listen, Attack on Titan. I think. I mean, I'm behind, but um, that's for a reason. I, I think it's a bit a smidge overrated, honestly. Like a really. Lot of Really, so, I, mean, I, I do love Attack on Titan. I'm not a huge fanboy like anime, but uh, I think it's a great manga. Uh, several several folks in chat or, or in that stream are saying that JJK right now is the best ongoing shonen. I think so. Yeah, several folks said that like universally, it's the best. Yeah, well, ongoing. Attack on Titan is not a shonen. Wait, hold on. Who said yeah, that? Yeah. Uh, so I think Laz said it. I think that the uh, manga podcast guy said. It. I think that I know. I think some patch of that too. Um, so, like, yeah, bad, bad. I don't trust anyone. Yo, I'll, I'll anymore. be frank. I cannot imagine a world where it beats One Piece. I really can't. In that, okay, well, Roger didn't vote, but there's a clear one, one Piece bias that we have on that stream. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wanna, I mean, honestly, I would argue that the manga, the manga of the year would, would be Kingdom for me personally. Kingdom has just been glorious. Yeah, at it's this good. point, oh, my the three of us should get caught up to Jujutsu Kaisen just to see because if it's it's gonna be either like, "Wow, it really was that good," or it's gonna be like, "Bro, this is overrated." As well, fun. anime uproar. Um, I think you I should wonder. get on that because that's a good train to jump on if it gets up to Demon Slayer levels of popularity. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. The, I, the read it yet. I am watching the anime though. Yeah, like for me, anime, I'm going anime only, and so far it's going it's going pretty good. Like yeah, really, good I mean, anime. it's totally it's totally solid, but I wouldn't say right now it's anything like, "Bro, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen." No, but it's episode seven, dude. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, it's, like, it's just that I mean, people are saying it's so good, so it must be the manga then, because I'm saying it's not just. Yeah, yeah. No, look, that was a manga bracket thing. So like, these guys are caught up, and so they're, they're reading all these series at once, and so like that's why it's like they they read took on time, JJK, and then JJK won, and then but it then lost to My Hero. My Hero apparently has been phenomenal. Um, 
but it, it's, it's been really long. good, but not as good as like. Okay, Dragon so Ball. I'm glad you brought that up because, to be <laughs> honest, no, it, it's okay. It's not even close to the good arcs of One Piece. Like, not even in the same league. I know that people think I'm a MHA hater or whatever, but it is so watered down thematically. It's sad. I this do. Sim- I, I do think Nox that you are a bit of a too much of a hater, but I also agree that. <sighs> One Piece is in a, in a different league from MHA, and also Attack on Titan is in a different league from MHA. I agree with you. Attack on Titan would have lost to my ear. On that stream, would have lost to my ear. I can even too. Guarantee that. Guarantee that. That's yeah, right. but that's that's just not normal. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I'm behind. I don't know. I don't know. In fact, I'm, 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 I'm watching anime only now for my academia. I'm like, fuck it. I, I don't see the reason why to. Because the manga was, I think, where I left off, it was okay. It wasn't necessarily bad. But then I have been hearing about things here and there through the grapevine, and apparently, like the last reveal was polarizing, where folks said that it was, was kind of like a Obito thing in Naruto, where it was like we all knew who he was or who he had ties. Wait, hold to. on, we didn't all know. Well, we all assumed it was Obito, but like I think yeah. that that was actually pretty decent. Like there were a bunch of good theories that it was Donzo or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like I also that, like it was Indra, like you know, like you know, like some of that shit, but no. It was yeah. good old fashioned Obito. So yeah, that's but I don't I'm... think I don't think the fact that people know you know have guessed it doesn't make it bad. It's still interesting to me, like the reveal. Not fair, but just that like again, like I saw the posts on Twitter where like folks like no, this is shitty or this is freaking really amazing. People just talk show. shit. People just talk shit to feel special. It's also fun. True. True. It's kind of funny. Yo, why wasn't Mashal on that bracket, bro? Did someone give you more subs? I think someone did. I don't know. Didn't notice. Thank you guys yeah, for so much for all the support, by the way, guys. You guys are amazing. And yeah, also, thank you, everybody. Hey, I forgot you to shout this out. You keep these podcasts going. It's you true, keep they do. going. They really you. do. I want to give a. I want to shout out that I am doing a PS5 giveaway, though. So if you guys want to sign up for that, feel free. Links in chat. You have one? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got two. It's not broken. It's not fucked up. Ah, it's working well, yeah. Oh, it fucking froze on me today while I was about to beat a boss. Oh, that's Omega Law. Dude, I was so upset. I was playing Demon Souls. I had died like 15 times to this fucking spooter. And I, it was 1 HP, man. It was 1 HP and my game just froze. I was done. I was, uh. What are your general like impressions of it in terms of like a, a gaming console altogether. i mean i'm pc master race and i will be for life but like as a console like it's amazing like it looks beautiful the controller is probably the best controller ever made um yeah everything's smooth and looks good yeah i'm curious to see how the games that are coming out specifically for it are gonna end up being well check out my stream twitch.tv slash beastly briggs for those demon souls content they literally remade this and made it a ps5 exclusive Ooh. Okay, so like games that I care about? I don't know if you would care about but it. You only care about Mario Kart though, man. Ew. Bro, I care about Mario Party, Mario Power Tennis, plenty of Mario games that I care about. Ew, dude. Did I, did I just fucking uh, shout out the wrong Twitch channel? Briggs ADA, my bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm not getting used to this rebranding. I rebranded myself everywhere. <laughs> I'm looking Adorable. forward to the one that comes out for God of War when that next one comes out. I want that PS5. That's the one I really fucking want. Because they show a version of that PS5. Because they, they have the Miles one. So I figured they, should, they show one for God of War 5. When it comes well, out. it'll be backwards compatible for sure. But you want like a remake, right? Yeah, I want the remake one where it's like, going to be like, it's going to look like, probably like, sick as all hell in that. It's actually drawn. Oh, I'm sure it will, man. I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm, I'm that I can actually get that and not have the fucking scalpers just take all that shit in one fucking go. I don't know how they haven't changed that yet. Like, they have that, like, you know, like line cues or some of that. So, like, ID check something where these guys just can't scalp like a thousand PS5s. And yeah, I don't know. Paying, like, I don't know. How, I got lucky, man. I literally, like, right. it sold out in like less than a minute and I got one. I was literally on there refreshing on two monitors and I got one. And I was on 15 wait lists for like EB Games, and they called me the other day and saying I got one there too. By the way, King EB Games is GameStop. Oh, yeah. We, we Canadian boys. Maybe that's why. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. I'm like, EB, EB thank you. All right. I got there you. Go. Actually, maybe I should have gone to like, maybe I should have gone to like a Canadian site and see if I could have gotten one there or something because I was fucked, dude. I was screwed. I mean, everything sold out here. Like, source website oh, went down, Best Buy went down. 
Uh, Walmart sold out in a minute, less than a minute, honestly. Bro, I was live on stream trying to watch anime, and it was like, yo, I'm trying to get this PS5 now, and Best Buy was a try. Like, I literally had two PS4s locked in, and then I went to go, like, you know, put the like, address in and so on, and then the site kept on refreshing and then crashing, refreshing and then crashing over and over. And I was so, and apparently, my boy actually got it, like, one of my friends got it, uh, like, legit, legit. And hour after I tried to, and he used the app. I'm like, what the, wait, what the, the hell? App? So the site yeah, was the down. App and had it the available, app the site crashed. It. I'm like, that's fucking horseshit. Dude. The app. Oh, Honestly, so pretty large brain. Everyone's going to go on the site. You just go on the app. It is, but that's so obnoxious. Once to download the Best Buy app. <laughs> that's funny. Waste of fucking space. Dude, I was big and yet, it. Though. It was such I a had... giga it was such a giga brain move. Yeah. Dude, oh, I, dude so like um there's like four different versions of the PS5. Like the digital, not whatever, the one with the disc drive, then there was one with the game, one with the Xbox controller with Walmart. So there was like four different versions to buy from. And I'm just like, what is gonna sell out like the slowest? The one with the extra controller and no game, right? So I was like, I clicked on that one. I had one there, another one on my other monitor, refreshing both. And legit, like I I had like all my credit card info all in. Like I was ready to go. I got, I literally bought it in like 20 seconds. I refreshed the page. All four are, are sold out. It was insane. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm probably going to Yeah. It's time to going. call and I got to go. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to video too. Thanks again, guys, for hanging out. Thank you, King of Lightning, for being our special oh, yeah. guest. Yeah, that was appreciate fun, it, man. man. Really do appreciate it. It was a lot of fun to about Hokie Gallon and the great Sakata Curry. Always a pleasure. Always. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, man. Hey, I think yeah. I, have to, I, th I have to make a video. No one understands pudding, so that Knox would finally understand pudding, bro. Dude, no, I, I feel it. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I'm a, I'm a romantic as well.